Hey guys, in today's video I'll be sharing with you how to make baby food, which I know can sound overwhelming or really hard for some of you, but honestly, I promise you it's really, really not. Making baby food at home is so much better than buying the already made stuff in the store. However, there's nothing wrong with buying the stuff already made in the store if that's what's easier for you or if that's what works best for you or is more affordable for your family, by all means, do it. But I personally like to make baby food myself at home. I find it to be really rewarding. I like knowing exactly what's in it. And I don't know, it's just something that I've always done, to be honest, but now I have sort of, in my opinion, mastered it. And that's pretty much why I'm sharing how to make baby food with you guys. This is gonna definitely be an ongoing thing. I'll share different recipes each time, but this is definitely one of Ellie's favorites. Ellie is going to be one year old and about a month. So I've been doing this for Ellie for a really long time. And for those of you who are new to the channel, I do have two kids. I have a two and a half year old and a soon to be one year old. And I've made baby food for both of them throughout their first year basically and from there they pretty much just eat whatever we eat because at that point they can kind of feed themselves everything anyway okay so today on the menu i'll be making butternut squash roasted apple and carrot quinoa medley i guess you can say i don't really know like a really good name for this i probably should have thought this through before i came on here and decided to share with you guys how to make this recipe but yeah it's pretty much exactly that butternut squash, roasted carrots, roasted apples, and quinoa. And you blend it all together and it is so delicious. Like everything that I make for my kids, I always try myself. And I've never made a recipe to date that I wouldn't eat myself. Like it's actually that good. And for the recipes that I'll be sharing with you now and in the future, you can always modify it based on your baby's needs. So if this is your baby's first food, you definitely don't want to mix all these ingredients at one time. Maybe start off with just the butternut squash and blend that up and do that by itself. Then gradually add in another ingredient like apple or carrot. Then at some point all three. And then you can give them a fully balanced nutritional meal made with love. And you know exactly what's inside because you made it. And there's nothing better than that. Trust me, there's nothing better than knowing exactly what you're putting into your kids. And I don't know, I get really happy when my kids are eating healthy. So really quickly, I'm just gonna go through the ingredients with you guys. Obviously, you'll need your butternut squash, you'll need your carrots, and you need your apples. For the carrots and the apples, you can definitely boil them or steam them. I don't have a steamer, sometimes I boil, but I find that roasting vegetables gives it more flavor and it doesn't kind of like water it down and take the nutrients out. If you choose to boil, that's fine like i said i've done that before just keep some of the water from the ingredients that you boil that we can add it in later so that you're not losing all the nutrients at least the nutrients that are left in the water will go into the blended mix if you're steaming you have nothing to worry about because all the nutrients are still inside and if you're roasting you have nothing to worry about because again all the nutrients are inside the only thing that you really need to worry about is just adding a little water to get it to the consistency that you like and we'll get to all of that later once i start blending which is the very end of the process so to start you'll want to wash and peel your carrots and your apples and you'll want to cut them in equal sizes and put them on a baking sheet and bake it in the oven at 350 for about 30 minutes and if after 30 minutes the vegetables are not soft enough then bake it for an additional 10 minutes and keep incrementing 10 minutes until it's done to a soft texture. That way it'll be easy to blend. While the carrots and the apples are in the oven, you can start making quinoa. Some people like to buy prepared quinoa. I personally just like to make it myself. It's super easy. I buy the organic one that I get from Costco in a super big bag. So I normally do one cup of quinoa in two cups of water and I normally cook it off for 15 minutes and then I let it rest for five minutes before I do anything with it. The next thing that you'll want to do is get your butternut squash and what I personally like to do is I like to buy frozen butternut squash because number one cutting it up I feel like just takes too much time and this is where I cut corners like for things that I feel are going to be too much work I buy it frozen I almost never buy things in the can because frozen is always fresher than canned 
So what I like to do is just boil the butternut squash for about five to 10 minutes, whatever the packaging instructions say, and I save some of the water from the butternut squash to add into the mixture later. That way, whatever nutrients I lost in that process, as I was explaining to you earlier, I'm still gaining back. That's about it in terms of prepping and the process. Once all those ingredients are prepared and ready to blend together, that's all that you do next is you blend. So yeah, that's how I make my baby's butternut squash, roasted carrot and apple quinoa medley dish. I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. Later on today, I'm gonna try to get Ellie to taste test this dish with you guys. I hope that you enjoyed watching this. I hope that you found this video helpful. And if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in my future video. Bye.